Welcome to PeaceMeg TV and another Reaper tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at creating a custom action. It's a great way of creating a macro like effect, the same kind of thing you can do in programs like Microsoft Word or actions that you can do in uh, Photoshop that allow you to string together a range of different commands into one simple keyboard shortcut that allow you to create really really powerful ways of working and speeding up your workflow. So what I'm looking at doing is I want to take a multi-pass recording so that's multiple takes on the same channel same track in Reaper and I want to take the one that I want to work with and promote that to its own track leaving the original multi-pass recording or the multi-take recording intact now there's no way of doing that that I'm aware of inside Reaper without creating a custom action so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first of all how that works and then secondly I'm going to take you through all the steps that you need to do to recreate this and save it as a custom action inside your own copy of Reaper. So first of all let's take a look at what I've got on screen. You can see I've got one track that's got five different takes of a guitar solo that I'm working on. So what I want to do is I want to say well I want to keep all these as they are but I want to take this last pass, this last attempt and say well I want to take that because that's the one that's closest to what I want it to be and I want to put it on its own track. Now obviously what I could do is I could simply copy this, create a new track, apply all the effects to it and then paste it. But that's a little bit long winded. So what we want to do is we want to create something that's quicker and easier. That's as simple as a keyboard shortcut that allows us to do that with one simple keyboard shortcut that we've saved out to customize in, in the way that we want to work with it. So let's see how that works. So what I'm going to do is I've selected the track. I've selected the take that I want to work with. And now what I'm going to do is use my keyboard shortcut of Shift and C to take that to its own new channel. So that's now been taken over, copied over, created a new track for us, and we've got just that take applied in there. Quick and easy. So the first thing we need to do is go into our Actions palette and take a look at what we've got available to us in there. So I've got the Actions menu, say Show Action List, or I can use the keyboard shortcut of the question mark, and that'll open up a new window that will show us all of the actions that are available to us in a typical installation of Reaper. Let me just resize this for a second. So you can see we've got hundreds if not thousands of different actions and we can apply custom keyboard shortcuts to any of these actions. What we can also do is we can combine multiple actions into an action set as it were and then we can assign a keyboard shortcut to that and we can just use that keyboard shortcut to do all of those actions in the order that they're created and do a massive amount of different things quickly and easily. So you can see at the top of the list I've got a custom crop to active take and my keyboard shortcut. And that's what I've created to take the track or take the, the pass that I've got within my multi-take track and, and promote it to its own track ready for us to apply the effects and things to it afterwards. So if I just double click on this, so if I select my custom action and I come down onto the right hand side and I click on edit, we can open up the custom action box that allow us to edit, edit any of these actions that we've created or any of the actions that are actually shipping inside uh, in Reaper itself. So you can see that my custom action has probably about 10 different steps to it that specify exactly what's going to happen when I use the keyboard shortcut that I've assigned to this, which in my case is Shift and C. So you can see we've got take, active, take, under mouse, select item under mouse cursor, we've got SWS action, so obviously you need to make sure that you've got that installed on your system. If you don't, go and take a look at my video that goes over the SWS extensions, install that, and you're going to give yourself a, a, a massive array of extra keyboard shortcuts and functions and things that that gives you completely free. Then we've got the time selection, we've got copy items, insert new track, paste item of tracks, crop to, uh, crop to active, take items, and then go to start of time selection. So you can see we've got quite a lot of different options available to us to create this particular custom action. So what you can do is you can filter any of the actions you've got available to you by simply clicking at the top of the list and just starting to type in what you want. So let's just say we want active, take, under mouse. So if I start typing in active... Take and uh, so you can see, choose active take right of under mouse. You can filter this down, or you can just scroll through and take a look for yourself. So, what I would recommend is take a couple of moments, select all of the steps that I've got created in my right hand panel, search for those, simply click on the one that you want, 
and drag it over to the right hand panel and once you've done that you'll create this custom action so we can then click OK and then finally all you need to do is with the action selected in the left hand panel come over to the shortcut for the selected click on add and from in there you can just create the shortcut that you want so press the keys that you want if you've got those assigned to another action you get a warning it'll tell you what action is applied to and if it's something that you think well you're never going to use then you can just ignore that or alternatively you can go in and choose a different keyboard combination once you've done that just simply click on OK and that will then assign that to that particular shortcut to that action and then we can just close this down so just for one more time all we need to do is take our mouse over the take that I want to promote to its own track hit my keyboard shortcut of shift and C and then that track or that take is promoted to its own track the only thing this doesn't do is put the effects that we've got applied to that original multi-take track onto our new track so it's just completely clean it's just the DI signal so obviously you can then quickly and easily copy those from there so we can just click and expand I could just select all of these right click and just say copy all effects close that down open up the effects panel and then all I can do is just right click in this empty area and say paste effects and then that'll paste all the effects with exactly the same settings that we've got applied on our original track to our new track so you can see two quick options and we've got a copy of just the take that we want leaving the original multi-take track in place that we can then use if we want to call those back up at any point so we can shrink that down mute it and now we can just use our promoted track to work the way we want i hope you found that useful and please subscribe if you have to the peacemaker tv channel until next time take care